it's Daisy here. Welcome to today's video. Today we are talking about three pocket fountain pens at three different price points. So um, everyone on our team seems like has a pocket pen somewhere in their collection. I know I personally have a bunch of them. I just gravitate towards these pens. They fit really nicely in my hand. And I thought that I would recommend three different pocket pens for those who are curious. Pocket pens, well, the name says it all. They are pocket sized fountain pens that are a little bit smaller than your typical fountain pen would be and they are made small so that they fit into your pocket or they fit into your bag easily so that you can use them on the go, you can carry them with you on a trip and you don't have to bring around like a big pen with you. Aside from that, I think I personally love using pocket pens just because they fit very nicely in my smaller hands and I think that for most of us on the team who own a pocket pen, that's probably the reason why they use a pocket pen as well. It's not necessarily because of the size, because the size doesn't make a huge, huge difference when you are planning a trip and you're trying to pack a pen. I think it really is more about the comfort in your hand and also how cute they look. So I, I love how cute these pens are today that I'm going to show you. And I'll just dive right into the three different pocket pens that we love at the three different price points. So here on the pen tray, you can see I have, these are the Caveco Sport, the Twisby Diamonds Mini and the Sailor Mini. And so I will start here with the Caveco Sport at the lowest price point. This pen, this pocket pen, is $28. And you can see here it is a black colored fountain pen and it measures at 4.1 inches when it's capped. And a lot of these pens, well, all three of these pens that we're gonna be talking about today, actually, um, they post and they kind of get longer when you post them. So this is what I mean when I say, when I use the term post, and when you hear the term post, that is what that means. It's the action of putting the cap onto the back of the fountain pen like that. And for all of these fountain pens, when you do post the pen, like I just did, it gets a little bit longer and a lot more comfortable to hold in your hand. So when you're posting it, it goes from 4.1 inches to almost five inches, which is a very comfortable size. I, I think most of us on the team have a Caveco Sport, if not one, maybe two or three. These are so easy to collect. This one is the Caveco Classic Sport in black, but it actually comes in so many different colors. And we've done a video on all of the different colors and finishes. It comes in all materials that the Caveco Sport pocket pen is available in. So this is the number one pick for um, the lowest price point. So it's $28, it's a Caveco Sport. It's a great pocket pen. And if you're looking for a pocket pen, or if you're looking for a gift for somebody with smaller hands, I would say this is a great option. Next up is the Twisby Diamond Mini. So this pen right here is $50. So it's a little bit more expensive than the Caveco Sport. The Caveco Sport is a steel nib fountain pen and the Twisby Diamond Mini is also a steel nib fountain pen. Where these two are different is that this one is a piston filler, so the filling mechanism is a little bit different and that's why the price point is a little bit different. This one, the Twisby Diamond Mini, measures in at 4.6 inches when it's capped and then when it's screwed to open and then screwed to post this one elongates just like the Caveco Sport does and it now measures at 5.5 inches. I think this is one of my most comfortable pens that I own. It is such a good size for me. A lot of us on the team who have smaller hands actually do own a Twisby Diamond Mini in our collection. And for me, it's not, I don't think of it as a mini pen. It's really just a really comfortable pen. It's a great size for me and I couldn't recommend this pen more for somebody who's looking at a pocket size fountain pen. So that's the Twisby Diamond Mini. Next up, um, we have the Sailor Mini. This is the Sailor Pro Gear Slim Mini. This is the highest price point that we're going to talk about. This pen is $180, and the reason for the price jump is really purely because of the material of the nib. 
This nib is made of 14 karat gold as opposed to the stainless steel nibs that we were mentioning in the other models. So the Sailor Mini is the mini version of the Sailor Pro Gear Slim. It's shorter, this measures in at 4.25 inches when it's capped and when it's posted, it measures in at 5.4 inches posted. So once again, it's like a really comfortable size and diameter, this one, to grip and to hold for anybody with slightly smaller hands. I would say this is a really good pen. These pens are three pocket pens. You can see caps, the Twisby Diamond Mini measures in at the longest at 4.6 inches but when they're posted, so when you're actually using them to write, they are all five inches or more, and the Twisby Mini is the longest at 5.5 inches when you're posting it. These three pens are all great options if you are considering a pocket pen, if you don't have one already in your collection. And as I was saying before, I feel like pocket pens are really, really cute, first of all. And also, if you have smaller hands, they actually tend to be a little bit more comfortable than a full-size fountain pen. I know for me personally, the Twisby Diamond Mini is actually one of my most comfortable pens that I write with when it's posted. It's like the perfect size for me. So if you are somebody with smaller hands and you're looking to add a pocket pen into your collection, then one of these pens might be the one for you. I hope that the three different price points gives everyone a little bit something to look for. The Twisby Diamond Mini is like the perfect in-between, I would say, if you're not looking to spend a ton of money, but you are looking for a solid, solid pen. The Sailor Mini is a little bit more expensive for somebody who wants a little more luxury, is craving that gold nib, and still wants a good pocket pen. It also happens to be like an adorable fountain pen. And then of course there's the Caveco Sport, which I feel like a lot of people own and love and already know it's a great pen and it happens to be in this pocket size and there's actually no full size version of the Caveco Sport. It just simply comes in this pocket pen. So um, there you have it. Those are the three pocket pens and three different price points. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you are thinking about adding a pocket pen to your collection, let us know if you have a different favorite pocket pen that we didn't cover in this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.